Hello everyone, welcome to Right Source Aviation. Today, I'll be telling you all about the medical requirements to become a pilot. We all know how important our medical is. If we don't have a medical license, we don't have a commercial pilot license. There are two kinds of medical, class 2 and class 1. I'll be discussing both of them, the steps and procedures which are required to issue both these class 2 and class 1 medicals. So guys, both class 2 and class 1 had totally different procedures. First, I'll be talking to you about the class 2 medicals and then I'll come to class 1 medicals. Guys, class 2 medical is required for student pilot license and for private pilot license. To get your commercial pilot license, you need to get your class 2 medicals done. So guys, to get your class 2 medicals done, you need to approach the class 2 medical examiners. The list of doctors you can find in the DGC website. I have attached the list in the description below for your reference. So guys, once you meet these doctors, they will ask you to get certain documents. Class 10, mark sheet and certificate are mandatory documents. Along with this can be one of your ID cards, which can be your Aadhaar card or your passport and some photographs. So guys, these doctors will ask you to do certain amount of tests. These tests have to be done from an NABL approved laboratory or from a DGC approved Air Force Medical Center. The list of tests are blood, HB, TLC, DLC, urine, REME, X-ray of chest, pure tone audiometry test and your ECG. Guys, remember these tests have to be done from an NABL approved laboratory. Guys, the doctor will also be doing your eye test and your ENT test. For all those people who have this doubt that whether they can fly if they have specs, the answer to that is yes, you can. But the only thing is that you should be having 6x6 eyesight with the glasses and you should not be color blind or you should not have night blindness. In the ENT, doctor is looking for that you don't have any hearing loss. This is the exact limitation for your eyes and for ears to clear your class 2 medicals. This information I found from the DGC website. I will be attaching the link of this page in my description below for your reference. Guys, physically he'll be checking your height and your weight and with that he'll be calculating your BMI. BMI is the ratio of your weight in kgs divided by your height in meters. If your BMI is beyond limits, he might ask you to do some more amount of tests. And then he'll check your blood pressure and blood pressure should be below 140-90. So guys, these are major the tests that the doctor will be conducting. But if he thinks there's some more tests which are required, then he might ask you to do some more tests. So guys, once you're done with your medicals, then the doctor will ask you to sign some documents. And the most important document for you is your CA-35 document in which it will mention whether you have passed or failed your medical. So guys, I wish you all a very best for your class 2 medicals and now we will be talking about the class 1 medical. So guys, the initial class 1 medicals can be done from only 5 centers and these 5 centers are AFCME in New Delhi, IM in Bangalore, MEC East in Jorahat, Dr. Balabai Nanamati Hospital in Mumbai, Apollo Heart Center in Chennai. So guys, there are three A4 centers and two civil centers for your initial class 1 medicals. And remember, the process to apply for your initial class 1 medicals is totally different from the class 2 medicals. So guys, for your initial class 1 medical, you have to fill up this form and you have to send it to DGCA at dgcamedicalappointment at gmail.com. Make sure that you send this email to them at least one and a half months before your medical date. The fees that is required for your initial class 1 medical is 3000 rupees and, and for renewal is 2000 rupees. This is for the A4 stations. For medicals at the private stations will be different. So guys, to take an appointment for your initial class 1 medicals from the private medical centers like the Nanavati or from the Apollo hospital, you have to contact the hospitals directly. Whereas to take an appointment from the three A4 stations for that there is a different procedure. You have to take an appointment from DGCA and there are the three ways by which you can take these appointments. First method is via fax, second method is via email 
write them an email at dgca medical appointment at gmail.com and third method is by written request so guys request can be made as early as 90 days or at least 15 days before the intended medical examination and those who are applying for the class 1 medical renewal they can take dates from these medical centers but make sure you don't take dates on the days which are marked yellow and the procedure to get the date for your medical examination is similar that is via email, fax or through a written request. Guys, this is the format for your written request for asking for an appointment for your medical examination. The link of this page is attached in the description below for your reference. So guys, those who are going for the initial class 1 medical, these are the tests which are required for the class 1 medical. These tests are your blood, HB, TLC, DLC, blood sugar fasting, post fasting, HbA1c, your lipid profile test, liver function test, blood urea and serum, creatinine, serum, uric acid, lipid profile, urine, RE, ME, ECG, X-ray of your chest, pure tone, audiometry, ultrasound of your abdomen and pelvis, diluted fundus examination. If your BMI is greater than 30, then blood sugar fasting and after that your every yearly medical will consist of your HB, TLC, DLC and urine test and basic eye test and whereas at different ages you will be conducting different tests the list of these tests are attached in description for your reference guys after the age of 60 you have to do your medicals after every 6 months so guys remember once you are hired by the airlines then airlines will take care of your appointments for your medicals but Till the time you are not appointed by the airlines, you have to take your own appointments for your class 1 medicals. So guys, this is the procedure that you need to follow to get your medicals done. I wish you all a very best for your medicals. Keep taking care of your health. Remember, if you don't have your medical, you don't have your license. Take care of yourself and remember, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Tab tak ke liye, aapka din, bangal mein ho.